Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are going to learn lesson 38 salt hydrolysis in chapter 7 ionic equilibria. We need to be able to explain what is salt hydrolysis and write the equation for the salt form from the reaction between strong acid strong base, strong acid weak base and weak acid strong base. Then we need to classify the salts as neutral, acidic, or basic. Hydrolysis is a chemical reaction between an ion and or cation from a salt with water molecules. Salt hydrolysis basically is a reaction in which one of the ions from a salt reacts with water, forming either an acidic or basic solution. What is salt? Salt is an ionic compound that is formed by the reaction of an acid with a base. The positive ion of the salt is from the base and its negative ion is from the acid. A salt is an ionic compound that is formed by the reaction of an acid with a base. pH of the salt solution formed is determined by an ion or cation that hydrolyzed. Shown is the general equation of neutralization, whereby you can see HX is the acid, MOH is the base, and it produces salt, M plus with X minus, the ionic compound there. The cation comes from base, M plus, and the anion, X minus, came from acid. Let's look at the salt dissociation equation for Mx. It turns out that Mx dissociate completely to form M plus and X minus because it is an ionic compound. And the cation hydrolysis is going to produce MOH with H plus. The anion hydrolysis is going to produce HX with OH minus. There are two types of hydrolysis. Partial hydrolysis occurs in salt solution which comes from a weak acid and a strong base or a strong acid and a weak base. In this salt solution, either cation or anion from the salts are hydrolyzed. The second type of hydrolysis is a complete one. It occurs in salt solution which comes from a weak acid and weak base. Both cations and anions from the salt will undergo hydrolysis. Let's look at the salt that comes from neutralization of strong acid and strong base. Both cation and anions from this salt do not hydrolyze because both ions are conjugates. They come from strong base and strong acid. The pH of the salt solution is 7 at 25 degrees Celsius. It is neutral. For example, sodium chloride. You can see sodium chloride here. Dissociate completely to produce Na plus and Cl minus ions. A salt that is formed from the neutralization of weak base and strong acid will only have only the cation undergoing hydrolysis. For example, ammonium chloride is a salt which is formed from hydrochloric acid and ammonia. You can see the equation here in H3 aquas plus HCl aquas becoming ammonium chloride aquas. Example 7.12, you can see the salt ionized to become NH4 plus ammonium ion and chlorine ion. Cation and H4 plus from the salt only will go hydrolysis to give an acidic solution. So it is going to undergo reversible reaction to perform NH3 together with H3O plus. A salt that is formed from the neutralization of weak acid and strong base would only have its anion undergoing hydrolysis. For example, sodium 
carbonate. It's formed from carbonic acid and sodium hydroxide. Sodium carbonate is associated completely into sodium ions and carbonate ions as shown in example 7.13 and only anion, the carbonate ion, will undergo hydrolysis to give a basic solution as shown in the equation below. The examples of salt that is formed from the neutralization of weak acid and weak base are ammonium acetate and ammonium oxalate monohydrate. Both cation and anion from these salts will undergo hydrolysis. Salts can be classified as neutral, acidic or base in aqua solution as they undergo hydrolysis. There are three types, neutral, acidic and basic. Neutral salt comes from the neutralization of strong acid and strong base, whereby the cation and the anion does not hydrolyze. Acidic salt comes from the neutralization of strong acid and weak base, whereby only the cation hydrolyzes as an acid because it comes from weak base. Basic salt comes from weak acid and strong base. Only anion from the weak acid hydrolyzes as a base. Here is the summary of the acid-base properties of salt. And you can see here that strong acid, strong base would produce a neutral salt. Strong acid and weak base would produce an acidic salt. Weak acid and strong base will produce basic salt whereas the last one weak acid and weak base would have acidic or basic depending on the ka and kb we have done what we are supposed to do thank you very much for watching and see you again soon assalamualaikum bye